give you a little back release. I don't know what I did. I did something the other day and it really, really wrenched in my back and starts tightening up every night. Like a chronic injury that uh, used to just debilitate me and now it's just irritating. Now take your hands behind your head. I have this block in here um, on uh, the length between the thighs. I'm going to squeeze it, carry the low back to the mat, then float the chest up off the floor. So I got to keep that tension in the legs the entire time. Feet are flexed back. Everything's active. Just lift up for one. Low back is imprinted for two. You got three, four. Keep squeezing. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze it some more. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. Now, take that block set off the side. Bring your knees in and then press in and then resist. Uh, a really good thing to do is to use a strap and tie it around, pulling it apart. So I'm pressing in, so I'm working my arms. Good. Not as much as I am my thighs. Good. Belly's pulled in the outside of the thigh, actually. I'm trying to get an activation in the IT band. Good. Now, same thing. I'm going to pull my knees in. As I pull my knees in, I'm going to press with my hands. Chin is in. Neck is nice long. I'm resisting. Good. So this should get some kind of balance in the pelvis. Sometimes you get a big clunk. You're going to take your hands, press on the tops of the thighs. Press, 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 press. Good. And then bring it all in. Just rock it out from side to side. Now, I'm not bringing my knees in super close because I need a little bit of space in the back. All right, legs come down again. I take that block and put it between the knees. And it's nice to have a little bit softer block. These are pretty soft. And uh, I got these from Peter So. Thank you again, Peter. Bought me a bunch of these. And I give these a, a squeeze. This way, being a little bit softer, you don't get like a hard edge. You know, so you get like a little nervy thing going on. Squeeze the block, bellies pull flat, hands come behind the head, float your chest off the mat for one, two, doing 12 again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Good. Now take that block, set that block up to the side. Now have your legs go over here to the left side. So my thing is in my low back, right side, belly's pulled flat, hands are behind the head, neck is long, right leg lifts up, then we come back down. Right leg floats up and down very gently. Right, the feet are active. That's three, you got four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's let those legs go over the right side, belly's pulled flat. So all that tension, that back, I'm trying to let uh, uh, some other muscles um, uh, get in there and take that pressure off of it, right? So they're going to uh, uh, get involved. Now that left leg float up for one. Got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now have that left leg fall open. Bottoms of feet come together. Get your feet super close. Neck is nice and long, chin is in. Lift your chest up off the mat. Now float those feet up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take those legs down. Just let the legs rock from side to side, breathing in, breathing out, right from your center. So bottoms of feet are pressing together the whole time. If you find that's really hard, keep those feet together. Keep that action. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. Right from your center. Bring those feet in by your seat. Float the hips up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Belly's full flat. Good. Just let the legs go from side to side. Let all that tension just drift away. One more little set here. Now, feet are flexed back. I've got those knees again hanging onto that block. Chest floats off the mat. Now, maybe you're just going to squeeze here and let that be it. Or you're going to float those legs up. Have the heels tap for one. Pull your belly flat for two. And you got three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Lay everything down. Neck is nice, long chin is in. Belly's pulled flat. Left arm goes out left. Again, this is extra. Come over here on that left side. Squeeze that block lower and lift it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take the heels down. Take it over on that right outside that right quarter. Lower lifter up. You go one, two. Keep that left hip off the mat. Three. Always under tension for four. No relaxation here. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Bring it on down. Now squeeze that block again. Hold here. Be here for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Take that block. Set it up the side. Bring those knees in. Press them in. And then take them apart. Hold here. Stay here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the last of that. Take those legs down. Rock it out from side to side. I already feel better. Neck is nice, long. Chin is in. Breathing in, breathing out. So, got that little pull in the back. And all of a sudden, it's lighting up saying, don't stretch me. Don't stretch me. And, of course, you stretch it. Breathing in, breathing out. So, it's better. To recruit from those other muscles to support it so that muscle knows like oh I don't have to be under this tension I don't have to be sending this pain signal good it's letting my letting my uh, uh, owner know that you know I'm in distress good so you want to get those other muscles working you bring in one knee bring the other knee rock it out just a little bit come over onto one side you gently come up and you may have to do that a couple times a day and figure that out or figure out something that you can do in a standing position. But I promise you, if you do that, it's like you're going to eliminate a lot of discomfort. Maybe. All right. Thank you very much for your attention. Adios.